Hi there, welcome back to Gadget Mad Lad. As you've probably seen by the in, uh, title, you probably know what this is about now, but in case you don't, let's give you a little look at the box. We've got a Geotech controller power skin for PlayStation 4 controller. I'm going to controller. Um, basically, what this is, is it's meant to be like a protective case for your PS4 controller. Let's give my little blow for a get on camera. Got a little dust off it. So, you stick this over your controller, I'll, I'll stick it on in a second, we can have a little look here. So you stick this over your controller, and plug it into your micro USB charge port on the controller, and this has got a built-in 1200 milliamps, I think it is, battery, and that in turn gives you an extra, it claims 10 hours of extra play. But from the reviews and stuff I've seen, it's more along the lines of 5 to 7. I've not had a chance to check it yet, as you can clearly see from the fact I've not opened it yet, break the seal now. This cost me um, three UK pounds from, um, what's it called? Home Bargains, that's what it was. I forgot totally, I had a mind fart there. All right, so let's get this open, see what's in the inside. So, watch a few unboxings and stuff, just to see, you know, if it had already torn that, so that's not working too well. It's stuck in there, isn't it? Right, there we go. So I'd watched a few videos to see, you know, if anyone had done an unboxing of it or anything. People obviously had but and I checked for teardowns and not one single person had done one so my first thought when I saw this was this so that can so be used for modding stuff. So my plan, which I'll run you through in a second once I get it out. Right, so in the box it's just that empty. So we've got the case itself, we've got the booklet and we've got a little charge cable. Let's drop that on the floor side of me. Right, so this is I think maybe a meter, maybe a meter and a half. Just an old micro USB charge cable. I don't think it's sync, just power. Now we've got the instruction manual, which I don't think I'm going to be needing because obviously it's just kind of click and play kind of thing. So here, get all wrapped and everything. We have what con it consists of two parts: we've got our front plate and our back plate. A uh, little micro USB thing that pulls out there. So what you do, you pull that out like so. You place the pad, which I have just put somewhere. I've just put the pad there, right next to me. I am blind as a bat. So you hug the, you pull that out to get the pad into place. Then you, once you put the pad into place, you then push this back in, which then locks the charge mechanism into place. And with this top bit, we put that on like so, push down, and then follow around the edges of it, make sure it's fastened. The rest it can fasten. I did notice one of the review guys that I saw it didn't actually fasten properly for him on ironically enough the side that it won't fasten for me on. Let's see if I can get it to squish properly here. Yeah there we go, so it's to be squished round. So it does fit quite nice and snug though, I do like that. So give you a quick gander what it looks like. So you've got a little button here, this activates the actual battery that's inside it, which as you can see there. We've got uh, the model number of the actual thing, the CSPPS4, capacity 1200 milliamps, and the, I think like, you know, the FCC and all that stuff, where it's made in China, a little Geotech brand in there. So, you just use like, that actually doesn't feel too bad. Feels pretty good. Uh, so, I know, so if I turn that on, it's probably dead. Yeah, it's going to really charge in it. But essentially, you keep your finger on that for, I think it's like two se two seconds or something, maybe. That lights up red, and then you get the orange indicator glow there. For, um, you know, to show it's charging. Uh, right, so, before I take it apart and take it apart, I'll tell you what my idea was, yeah? For starters, I figured, if there's enough space inside here, maybe I can increase the battery capacity. But, because we're a bit limited in size, that might not be possible. So... That's not definite, but something I did think would be definitely poss possible would be, we see this here, where is it, it's stuck to on the sides there, remember these are, a few episodes back I showed you the micro USB, so the Type-C to micro USB adapters that I bought, so in order to do some charge port, you know, Type-C charge ports, well the way this works, this plugs into a micro USB, and it turns into Type-C, yeah. so I opened one of these, which I've got here, see, so I, what I could do, I'm hoping when I tear it down, is so say like desolder the micro the micro USB port off there yeah if I can somehow get this inside there you get me and solder it to the 
back of the mill micro USB port there, you know where these connectors are, a little wire. Could I therefore give, would this make it Type C, essentially? I don't know, obviously, but obviously if you want to see that, that won't be happening in this video, I'm just going to do tear down, obviously, but if you want to see that and there's enough interest, let me know, and I'll get onto that, and we'll, I probably, to be honest, I'm probably going to do it either way, so, like, like let me know or don't let me know, I'm probably going to do that video soon. <laughs> but, um, obviously if you're keen to see it like I'm keen to do it, let me know. Show me your enthusiasm. Let's not curb that stuff, eh? <laughs> right, so right now I'm using the pride tool to, to like try and crack it open without damaging it because it seems like it's on there nice and snug and I don't want to break it. You know about tear it apart, <laughs> I don't want to break it. I'm actually going to go and pick another one of these up. Just in case I do break this one, you know, and then modding. Well, when it comes to modding, it should say. So I'll pull that out of there so that comes out. So there's my pad out of it. So there's freedom to the PS4 pad. So that's the unboxing slash usage of it. Nothing mega great as you can see, but you can see that little thing there, that's what's got me intrigued. Because what I'm assuming is, I'll tell you what I'm assuming before we crack it open. I'm assuming there's a male micro USB port there with some wires running down to the back of this female micro USB port. And that's what this can, this little mechanism is there. This little pulley thing here that's linking it to the back bit there, see, as I'm pulling it in and out. I think there's two wires that are running through that that go into the battery that are actually you no know, charging it and using it for power or whatever. Well, it's easy enough to find out because we've only got two crosshead screws here. Our Phillips, which way you want to call it. So let's crack these open and have a look, sis, because I am very intrigued to see what's inside this. The battery increase, I think that's going to be a bit harder to do unless I can find some really small batteries. I mean, look at that. But to be honest, that, that could definitely be used for something else. That I'm looking at that and I'm thinking I might buy another one of these just for the sake of that battery because, well, for starters, it's tiny. That is so goddamn small. They glued in. Or... Right, so let's move them two screws and the panel thing to one side so I don't knock them everywhere because me being clumsy as hell, we'll probably do that. Yeah, let's get plastic pry tool because I don't want to blow the battery up. I think I can just pull it out like so. It doesn't seem to be stuck down too firmly. So we've got a nice... Right, so... Is there a way of getting you out of there? All oh, right, no, 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 I see, I see, I see. It's cool. I saw it was near enough, right? I think. Yeah, so the charge port connects there. So let's get this bit out if we can. Is there a way to get that out? It seems to be... Oh, I've made an unbleeding camera there, huh? <laughs> so I'm just turning it this way towards my light so I can actually see what's holding it in place. I think that should just pull out, I think. I think being the most progressive word ever. Yeah, I don't want to come out like that, so screwdriver it is. So there's four screws from what I can see. I know you're struggling to see that because it's black or whatever, but I'll try and pull up. To... Oh crap. You see, here, here, with all this wire, and there, and there. I know it's hard to see because I can hardly see it myself, but trust me, the one screw free. Two screws free, yep. Is this three screws free? <laughs> it's a tongue twister. Four screws free, come on, give me the, some, show me the money. Sorry, it's really hard to see that, but you can see them four holes there. That's gonna come out now, maybe, maybe not. Don't know, let's find out. Give it a wriggle, oh yeah, there we go. We've got some signs of movement there, so let's get that. Then drops onto there. I think these, yeah, it's not going to come out without being desoldered, but we can wriggle it about enough, I think, to have a little luxes. So, nothing special, like, charge-wise there. It's just a little sync button. It's been pressed there by that. Not sync button, sorry, the, the, the thing to turn it on. 
And you've got all your, I don't know what they're, to it, to it, to it, little processors or whatever. So we've got a battery connector, it's clearly defined. 5 volts in, clearly defined. 5 volts out, clearly defined. Ooh, so this could definitely be, the Type-C could be very feasible with this. Aha, we can go deeper. There's two more screws, yes. So let's go deeper then, people. In order to be able to like do this, I'm going to have to desolder and everything, but for right, for, for right now, all the screws seem to be the same size, so we'll keep them together. Well, there's two more screws there. Move this. This is very, very, very promising. So Geotech making your crap stuff. They having the same thread, are they? Yeah, they look enough like it. Come on, you. I'm trying to get the screwdriver in there. Doesn't seem to well bite. There we go. Didn't well bite, but it's biting now, so we're all good. Sorry for not doing this on, on in front of the camera properly. It's hard to kind of finesse it on the, all on there in one go. So I think now that should get me prior to and now I should do the trick, I reckon. I'm trying to see him a bit, I'm just popping it open. Right, so here, what have we got? We've got the. Yeah, that would definitely work, though, wouldn't it? Oh, would it actually? The, the space being enough space in there. Hmm. Can I push you through? Have a look, see what space we've got to work with. And so that's the. Uh, Take the screws out and see where I'll, how far we can take it down. Need a little screwdriver now though, because this is where the screws have to go smaller. One of them looks like it's almost stripped. That is dodgy. So this screw here, but man, this has never been opened before. That looks like, let's even get it in shot so you can see that. You see the one on this side, in comparison to the one on this side, One's fresh. The one on the upside down, yeah, so for you, right one set. So the one on the left has been purposely stripped out. The one on the right is nice and like a brand new screw. Like you'd expect a screw to be, that's never been unscrewed before. But they've not quite screwed it enough. So I think if I'm firm and slow oh crap. Firm and slow, hopefully. Come on, come on, crap, I'm going to have to use my flush cutters on that, how it's meant to come out of course is like this, that's the ease of it meant to be coming out, but because of dodgy beep, insert swear word there, we're probably not going to be able to get into this, because of this one screw. Oh, God damn it. Flush cut dryer. I'm not having that. Don't you fall off, you stay. Oh, God damn it. I'm going to have to grip it and then twist it kind of thing. So, please work. Yes. So, when we go back together, it's going to be missing a screw. Now, it's like I find a screw that's similar, which I suppose won't be impossible. I do all the stuff that I've torn down. So how dodgy it is that? I'm sorry that if you can't see this clearly what I'm doing, but I have to start like grip it and twist it to force essentially like my own thread into it to get it out. So at least I know if I'm modding and this one, it'll be just this one. <laughs> so that little screen go there. Right, so I'll try and show you that now. Is that showing with my horrible yellow fingers? <laughs> I'm really off. It's got more grip to it now than it had when I started. See how bad that is. It's a circle the actual screw out to try and make it so it's finger. That's bad, that, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so I've got into it now, so let's see if we can actually get further into it. So this is just my male micro USB side. Nothing great or spectacular. But yep, the way that this is soldered, if you see there, three and then two, if you look at this one here, you know the micro uh, Type-C port I was talking about, the 
female type C to male micro USB. If you look at it, it's two and it's three, which is the exact pinout as that. And I was right, it is only power, so there's no data functionality. So you won't be able to sync your, your pad to it. You'd have to sync your pad, like, you know, via the sync, the, the the data cable original and then you'd have to put it inside this and then it'd only charge the pad via that so you wouldn't be synced up to like you know like um if you use like a ps4 pad with a playstation 3 and you use the data cable you can use it as like a wired pad but if you disconnect it it doesn't stay wired does that make sense this wouldn't do that you wouldn't be able to do that with this because there's no data there's no data plus or data minus and it's just got the positive in the ground but yeah there's Potential that I can't get any further into it from there, I don't think. Well, we'll start as these sold on it, but it's also something sticking in there that. Not too fair, I would be changing that note one if I am, so, so there's no harm in on the look, is there? Let's see if that's. Can pull that out maybe. Oh, there we go. So, yeah. Fully disassembled, I'm just not going to desold everything to shit, if you get what I mean. So this is a bit of a hard after replace. So that's the question. Maybe I can make a little bit more space in there. Could I replace that with that, and then run the wire from that to? Um, I'd have to figure it out somehow. But yeah, it's definitely doable, I'd say. And I might have to make the hole a bit bigger. But I like the idea of that. So, <laughs> some point about together, I'll do that later. Well, that battery, they are definitely good for three pounds. A 1200 milliamp battery, that's so small. So honestly, I might actually use that for a mod I've got I planned uh, coming up. And repurpose another battery for that. <laughs> um, maybe not, uh, we'll find out then. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I've got some more tear, tear downs and some more mod videos coming soon. Sorry about the delay, it's been caught up with all my stuff and everything like you do. Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.